How you guys doing? It's Poison here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a secret loot pack to win every single game. So basically, I'm gonna be showing you guys where this loot pack is, where to go after you do go do get this loot pack. I'm gonna show you why it works and everything. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on post notifications, and yeah, let's start with the video. So I'm gonna be telling you guys where the secret loot path is. You guys probably already know by the background. It's at Jung Junction. I'm gonna show you guys why this is like the best way to win a game and I'm gonna show you like everything to deal with it. So reason one why this is a really good loot spot is because not a lot of people go through it. If you guys didn't know to especially win a game in Fortnite Battle Royale, if you're not the best at it, you need to have like a good starting hand or like a good starting loadout if that makes sense and jump junction a lot of people doesn't go there and you have a lot of chests that you could easily get and easily like get a lot of materials out of i remember one time getting like a scar and like a blue shotgun and stuff like that from the spot easily and it's not that hard to get it's really fast to get and you're gonna easily get way more materials and stuff like that than other people in this location there's about 10 chests I think there's about 10, 10 chests, don't quote me on that, I didn't count everything to find out. But basically, um, there's like 4 chests or 3 chests in this house. There's about, if I'm not mistaken, there's about uh, 2 chests there, 2 chests there, there's 1 chest uh, over there. There's another chest inside this spot right here. So this was the position that I talked about the other spot. There's another chest back in that side. And there is a chest in that llama as well. So I think it's about 10 chests. I'm not sure though, so don't quote on me on that. So Jung Junction by itself doesn't make this spot of like a secret loot path or whatever. Uh, it's not the best just because it's Jung Junction. You have to use the other stuff that's in it. So after you go to Jung Junction, you need to hit up this spot right here, right next to Jung Junction. There's not a lot of people that goes here anyways. And you could get a lot of materials and loot out of this place. It's really easy to get loot out of this place. It's like a really big place, but it's right next to Pleasant Park. No one comes here. And if there's anyone coming, it's like really newbie that doesn't know how to push. Or there are people that are, you know, what's it called? It's only like one or two people. One or two people that come here. So in this spot, there's about, I think, seven chests all together. Uh, there's three chests inside this building. No, there's two chests inside this building. One chest inside here. Another chest inside here, one in there, and another one in the back over there. So there's seven chests right there, and there's about 10 in the other one. So that's 17 chests without basically doing anything because there's no one going to disturb you. And as you see, I have okay amount of materials to get started in the mid game, and it's not that bad. So right now, I am going to tell you guys something is that after this fall, you guys could either hit up Motel, which is right over here, which is also a really good spot, or you guys could hit up Cousin Park, which I'm going right now. I feel like you should go to Motel if the circle lands, like next to Motel, and you don't like to play aggressive. Yeah, and if you head to Motel, you're not gonna get any distracted, and you're gonna have more loot than other people. But if you guys are like me and you guys don't have the circle to your favor, you guys do need to go through Pleasant Park and you guys need to get to your circle. Pleasant Park is also another good place just because after you finish looting the first two positions that I to uh, told you guys, you can just come to Pleasant Park and kill the last surviving people. So there's going to be like one or two people that are left in Pleasant Park. You just get all their loot and you'll be stacked up on loot. So just to summarize everything because I died last game and I couldn't finish the video. So what you guys want to do is land in Jung Junction, loot up from there. Then you want to head to the place right here or right here. Then after that, you can either go to Motel or go to Pleasant Park, whatever you like. And after that, you should have enough loot, enough material to get that W. So I hope you guys did like this video because this loot pad is the one that I use to get most of my wins. Just because it's, it's not that, what's it called? It's not that hectic. There's not a lot of people that go there and you can easily loot up without any interference or anything. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, turn on post notifications, and yeah, thanks for watching.